Let me make sure everything's good on the, the old twitch.tv. I haven't done a stream where I just go straight into it in a couple of times. Been doing little teasers at the start for a little while. There we go. Cool. We're off. I'm going to make a quick Instagram post and we'll get into it. I have this nice guitar chord progression I want to I want to mess with. Oop. It is true, I am live. It's true. Hey, Marin, how's it going? Oh, also, um, Yash, I know I'm supposed to, I know I said so many times now that I'm supposed to do, that I'm going to do a feedback stream. I will do it. I just keep forgetting, <laughs> to be honest. Hold on, I'm making an, a quick Instagram post on my story before we get into it. Um, but before you guys came in, I was just saying I uh, I have this nice chord, pro or this nice progression on the guitar that I want to I want to explore a little bit. I think it's going to be nice. All right. Instagram story, boys. Boom, 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 boom. No, I remembered. I'm not I'm not that much of an idiot, but you know, I I uh, It's not even that I get busy. I just I just forget. I just forget this to do it. Like I know I have to, I know it's it's on my mind, but I just forget to do it. All right, I've put on the headphones. Actually, uh, we need to go a bit more around. And here we go. So I don't know if you can... I don't know if you guys can hear it. By the way, I got this guitar last week, and uh, or earlier this week. I don't know. I got this guitar earlier this week. Yeah, I got this guitar. I got a new one because my old one was a bit, a bit screwed up. I am playing the progression. You can't hear it though. I don't know why. I think uh, Streamlabs OBS is is acting a little. Oh, I know why. Um, if I do, if I go to loop back and I add this, now you hear it on the left and I hear it on both sides and it's probably a little loud. Sorry about that. I'll take it off afterwards, but It's hella loud for you. I can see it on the meter. So I'm going to take it off. But that's what I'm going to play in. Um, I wonder if I... That's interesting. Okay. Because I can turn... Yeah, I can turn the whole thing down. Um... Whoa, holy shit, a bunch of people came in. Can you play Wonderwall? <laughs> Is there a lot of noise? There shouldn't be. Um It's not on my mic though, is it? Or is it on is it just because of the guitar? Cause yeah, it's weird. Um Yeah, anyway, let's get into it. Let's record. Here, I'll just you'll hear it through Ableton anyway. I'll make sure the sample size is low enough. There we go. Now I don't have to monitor it.
I'm gonna play that in. I'm probably gonna add some good, some uh, other noises. Aha. Uh -huh. What sound do I prefer? It's a random session. That's fine. All right. Yeah. I have to record those separately though because I'm not good enough to play them on time, but... Um, I mean, you can send samples if you want, I'm not going to use them though. I'm just doing my own thing right now. All right, let's. I don't want to unplug the guitar quite yet because I'm going to use it some more. Hold on. I need to. Wesh Dumu, comment que ça va? Écoute, Coco, ça va pas mal? C'est Benji là? C'est Benji ou c'est Noé Bumble, c'est Benji ou Noé, je sais pas. Écoute, mais en tout cas, ça va. Ça va pas trop mal. Um, yeah, this is just a random session. I'm making a, making a chill beat, bro. Alright, let's see. Let's get into it. Uh... Set one one one. Thank you. 
few here as well. Not a fan of that one. Oh, what the fuck? What the hell? Ableton just crashed. Come on, man. Seriously? What's up, Angel? Yes, recover. It's hot in here, dude. And yes, I have heard of break-ins. My friend Magin uh, helped him, or uh, co helped with the production on one of the tracks of Breakins' last album, if I remember correctly. <laughs> Come on, really? You're gonna make some noise outside now? Okay, fine, whatever. This is this one's fine. I'll put a CLA guitars on it. Now's probably a good time to turn the fucking buffer size up. Do I hear a really... I think I do, hold on. just noticed a really piercing high frequency. Or is that just my ears? Nope, that's just my ears right now, apparently. Maybe this one. If I pitch it down a few. Oops. Yeah, 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 shut up.
There we go. Hmm. Let's try like more of a rim. Hey, little one, why did I remove Disappear? Disappear wasn't uploaded on my profile. It was uploaded on Kyle's profile, so yeah. I, I guess he removed it because he didn't want it up there anymore. To be honest, it wasn't a very good song, so I get it. Stream thing. Some kind of percussion loop from the flutes world percussion. Oh, Jesus Christ, what's going on? Uh, yeah, like that. that on it, a bit of auto pan. I thought I got this trick from Tennyson where they find they just go and listen to some breaks and they'll take the drums from those, like the kick and the snare, as like layers at least. Let's try that. Okay, not a fan of that one to be honest. I'm looking for a snare. Actually, that. Might do it. Say amen break one more time. I'll kick some ass. Wait, was it? Dang it, it was a crackly recording. Okay, fine. I guess I'll just turn off the monitoring inside of Ableton and monitor through my interface, which means that you won't be able to hear it.
second one I got here. That one was good. Yeah. Hello to my eight, wait, is my audio not working? Oh, it is. Okay. Thank God. Oh my God. Hello to my viewers, my 18 current viewers, apparently, according to Streamlabs OBS. Yo, what's up? I will groove them later, all right? This is how guitar, this is how I play guitar. Acoustic Big Sky. What's up, Simper? a little bit flat. Hold on. Sharp. Okay, we're a little sharp. So let me turn those down 20 cents. And that sucks. So let me just. I'll do that later. I'll do that later. Okay. So E minor. G major. Okay. When did I learn to play guitar? I never did. I just... I, I learned... I learned... I've been learning for years. Just very, very slowly. And I'm not good at it because I don't take actual lessons. I just do it myself. 
so you know. Oh, I f totally forgot about the fact that we have these really nice chords, chord versions of the, I mean like strummed versions of the chords here. Which, please give me the amp again. We need to use that. Let me boop, do that. Oh, it's hella quick. Hold on, what? Okay, that's too quick. That's too quick. That doesn't work for that style of strumming. But they're cool. They're here and we'll use them eventually. Okay, let's add some ambience and shit because this needs to be filled up. So I'm just gonna look up pad. Yeah, I can work with that C minor. Oh. That's a pattern G I can fuck with. Let's just do that. And this. second part of the layer. Let's just do that. Oh my god, it's space effects! Oh, oh boys! It's space effects. Hey, why don't we have a go? I'm crying. Please let me have the space. I will pay thousands of dollars. I will pay thousands of dollars. Oh, shut the hell up. How'd I make what? Please explain how I made what. Let's, uh, let's, how about we, uh, use the, the pad that I made just the other day that lasts 20 minutes. I made a 20 minute long pad just the other day. Where is it? Loop pad V2. Just have a look at this fella. Just ha have a look at this fella. It's 20 minutes long. I had to wait for it to analyze. I need to save an analysis file of it, actually. Can I do this right here? Like create analysis file? Or if I go in here? I swear there is a, a, a way to do that. Click save. Oh, that just worked? Wait. Oh shit, no, 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 cancel. Okay, weird, whatever. B, we are in G, so we wanna go down four. Yeah, that's what we love to see. 
that right there. That's what we love to see. I'm gonna, I'm gonna stretch it in a little. I need a change here. I think probably take this out. And I'll do vocals. of this or it's just picked, pitched up an octave instead the way this pad like pitches up let me duplicate that and like just unwarp it real quick just want to throw that in there like that Take that off. Shut the, hey. Everybody, hey Andy, hey Andy, hey. Fuck you. That's right, that's right, you bitch. I got, I saw your name in chat, I got riled up. <laughs> that's what happens, man. I see your name, I just get riled up, you know? I can't control it. You just fill me with anger. Oh, Rob's in the chat here now too. What are they gonna What are they gonna tell me? Oh, this isn't. Oh, this isn't. This isn't. This isn't UK music. You fucking idiots. Yeah, I'll mod you. I start crying. Gen me tunes. There you go. You're you're mod now. Hey man. Where's the 909 kit? Okay, hold on. This needs to be like not so stupid and bad. So I'm gonna reverse that. Oh shit. I'm stupid and bad. Would you look at that? I'm gonna do this.
Okay, I think here I need to change the chord progression, so on. I just... Just repeat those. Huh? Well, my output device hasn't changed. Oh, there we go. Now it's working again. External instruments. MIDI 2, boutique, input from 1, 2, baby. And I have nothing selected on Cool. 
Okay, hold on. Damn, I still have the report of crash screen. I didn't even notice. Dang it, I guess I'm a boomer now. Record that in. Cool, sick. First of all, did my fucking CLA just stop working? What the hell? It's just not working anymore? Okay, what about you? Just stopped. Okay, yeah, no worries. It's still on. Audio is still passing through it. It just decided, you know what? Never mind. I'll just. Just won't affect anything. What the hell, man? Let's try that again. feel about this chord progression because I like how like relaxing and laid back this is this has like a very dark tone to it or like sad Not even sad, it's just too 
to EDM. Just not a fan of that. I'm not a fan of that. It's too EDM. That's fine. All right, let's focus on uh, ex yeah, I mean, fleshing this out first. And I want to sound shifter pitch it. Because that shit always sounds good. Okay, maybe not that fucking far. It's the exact same chord progression, but I think the way that that sort of the rhythm change is change enough, I think. It doesn't have to be any more complicated than that. Got some effects racks presets. Oof. Oh, that's nice.
pretty nice. Let's see. Nice. Isn't it coming through? Oh, because I have the wrong input. Oh, yep. Yeah. That's going to be very annoying. Hold on. Let me take that off.
Please shut the hell up, okay? I swear to God. You say future hardstyle one more time, I'm gonna blow my goddamn brains out on stream. Also, can I get a pog in chat because I just got a bumble match on stream, boys. We love to see it. Fucking, we're in a different key. That's the that's the chord progression I always fucking play. Why does it have a new meaning? I'm glad that her is one of your favorite Charlie records. I have no idea what I'm doing. Not a clue. Dubstep. Her is now a bumble, indeed. I actually wrote the song Her about a bumble girl. Just kidding. Let's not get into that. <laughs> It's funny that you say that because I can't play guitar at all. I've only 
I've only started playing it more recently, which is why I got this guitar. Because the guitar that I had before, I don't know if you can see it. It's back there. Oh, come on. Hold on. Back there. That's the old guitar. I bought it for like 150 bucks off of Carousel, which is Singapore's Amazon. Or, sorry, Singapore's uh, eBay, basically. And it's it was fine, except it's like it gets pretty old, so the, the neck is bent so like the higher up i would go the more out of tune my guitar would get so I, since i was playing it more and more I, I decided to buy a new one but i am by no means a guitarist like i'm i mean i could put space effects on the guitar but that's kind of what cla guitars is doing but this is what Space effects would sound like this is gonna be really similar, just less toned, I guess. I I need to turn this up in general. Like, it does essentially the same thing, except this one adds an amp as well. So it's a bit nicer. But it's cool. You can do some good stuff with CLA. If I choose one of the the electric ones, or uh, hold on, one of the reampers, if I do, what is it, less power? This this is the one that can get loud, isn't it? the gain in on this. that same kind of clean chorus on acoustic i mean you can but like i, I actually I talked about this with a friend the other day if you want the sound of an electric guitar you're not going to get it with an acoustic guitar and if you want the sound of an acoustic guitar you're not going to get it with an electric guitar because those are just not what they're designed for but you can get you can definitely get some close stuff like before i had this one and that one back there Back when I lived in, in the UK and in France, I had um, an electric acoustic guitar, which was essentially, you know, an acoustic guitar with a pickup. But, and like, and like that, I got some decent fucking, decent sounds out of it. But it, it didn't sound like a full on electric guitar, obviously. I really like this doubler effect here. Oof, that's really nice. What if I did it an octave higher?
sounding stuff alright let's do some work on the actual song shall we actually I don't know what to do so Let's try that. I don't know, fuck it, let's give it a shot, I guess. Well, well we can always take it out if it's not good. Which it won't be. this I mean it's cool that's for sure just I feel like I just prefer the way that this version feels.
Oh, whoa, hello. I didn't do that on purpose. Try something like that, but hold on. Fuck off. Oh, hold on. I got this. up the last few notes there but that's fine because we can just copy them over from the first half doing it all I, I, I'm honestly at this right now I'm only a big fan of the this bit but I'm having fun so who cares Let's see if there's a vocal I can chuck on this, see how that sounds. I don't know. Just for fun, why not? Um Are these like full Okay, no, they're just little Hold hands while we run in place. Okay. Break just phrases. Let's see, what do I have here that's nothing? Fireflies, baby. Ah, this is ninety. You would not believe your eyes if ten million fireflies were not the wolves I fell
we go, boys. We do love to see that. Fireflies. It's crazy how putting a song in the same key and time works. What about Better Not by uh, the boys? The stupid fucking weed boys. Holy shit. They're stupid. Those, those who know, know. <laughs> those who don't, don't worry about it. So up, up three, up three, up three. really well <laughs> okay let's try Novo more so that's gonna go on the one
a nice little idea we've got going. I mean, it's very bare bones at the moment, but it's cool. I might do some of my own vocals on this and uh, maybe release it under Charlie on the next album or something. You need the Fireflies remix, dude. You would not believe your eyes If ten million fireflies Lean up the wall as I fell asleep Cause they fill the open air And leave teardrops everywhere You'd think me rude, but I would just stand and stare What if I record my own... Fireflies lyrics. Hold on. Let me pull up the lyrics on my phone. Oh, shit, boys. She sent a message, Pog. <laughs> this is really unprofessional. <laughs> um, let me pull up the... Fireflies lyrics. I'm gonna do my own lyrics. The fireflies. All right, hold on. Let me mute my mic on stream. Send her the stream link. No, I can't. I'm gonna mute my mic on stream, record it, and then unmute on stream. So, hey guys. Oh, I forgot about that. You would not believe your eyes If ten million fireflies You would not believe You would not believe your eyes If ten million fireflies Lean up the world as I fell asleep Cause they First of all, auto-tune. Auto-tune. G major. Boom, boom. This, this vocal sounds bad, I know it. But, who cares? It's not exactly like I'm making a masterpiece at the moment, is it? I'm making a fucking Fireflies remix slash cover that I'm never going to put out as a Fireflies cover.
I'm not really making a a Fireflies remix. I I just made this. I have so many acapellas on here. Really, I'm just I okay. To break it down, this section of the song is the only thing that I really like at the moment. But I did some other parts, and then I put Fireflies over, and then someone was like, I want this Fireflies remix, and I was like, what if I do the vocals as well? You would not believe your eyes, your ten million fireflies, lit up the world as I fell asleep. So I sung it badly. Cause they fill the open air, leave teardrops everywhere. With recording errors. I don't know what that is. Stay hydrated. Posture check. Yeah, this, I like this. Turn that off, turn that shit off. I like this vibe a lot. I think I'm done working on this for now because I think the next step for me is going to be to write lyrics and that's not really something fun to watch on stream. I want to show you guys um, this. Also, so uh, a couple weeks ago, I don't know if you guys remember, but I was working on this house song 
that had the vocals from the school called Maggie York. Uh, that's finished. I finished the song recently. Oh, hello. Set place. Hey, set place. I don't know who you are, but welcome to the stream for the first time, apparently. Let me show you guys this thing that I've been working on the last couple of days. This is not going to come out on Dumu. Yeah, the one with the Hollywood vocals. That's the one. It's done. This isn't going to come out on Dumu. Uh, this is probably just going to be something that I'm going to give, like, sell. <clears throat> um, but I have this... Ignore these. I can't talk about those. But but I have this Pretty Please Dua Lipa acapella that I put on top of it. And it sounds so good. Somewhere in the middle I think I lied a little I I said if we took it there, I wasn't gonna change, but that went out the window, yeah. Little, little, skimmy, little, stressed out, but you're here now, and you're turning me on. I wanna feel a different kind of tension, yeah, you can see the kind that's fine. I hate it when you leave me on a tender, cause I miss ya, and I need your love. I'm a man is running around, but you're having so much fun. It's cool. There's this cool section in this part as well. But yeah. This is a cool thing. I don't know. I'm happy with it. It's like very poppy. Drums are cool in this. I essentially, like, I have the kick. I think this is what gives it the watery thing, is this clap. And I have all these little hats and shit. But then I did the thing where I took some breaks and, like, chopped them up and put those as a percussion group. And it's fucking cool, dog. Yeah, I don't know. I just felt like showing that one to you guys. Let's see, what else do I have in here that I can show? I'm probably revealing some stuff in showing these project files that I shouldn't be. Oh, you know what? Why don't I show you guys the, uh, where is it? I just saw it. Heavy with hoping cover. Haven't heard drums that clean since the Louis Futon sample packs. Hell yeah. Um, so if you guys don't know, I released a cover of Heavy with Hoping by Madion a couple weeks ago. Couple weeks ago? I don't know. Fucking dude, time makes no more sense anymore because I have been locked in my house for weeks. Literally weeks. Um Oh wow. Yeah, more than a couple weeks ago. Jesus Christ. Okay. So I put this out a while back. And um since I was working on that other track just before, and now I'm at a point where I'm not entirely sure where what else to do on this stream, why don't we do a little mini track breakdown of the heavy with hoping cover um why not so here's a fun fact about this cover i actually started by recording the vocals i had nothing else in the project i just turned on the metronome i had the lyrics on and i knew the melody of the vocal so the beginning the project just started out as, as this how can i explain can you imagine Trying my best 
That was it. That's how the song started. It was just the the six eight fucking metronome, and my voice. And then I started adding stuff. And I think the first thing I added were these like ukulele, this like cloud of ukulele sounds. Which I think sounds so cool. I love stuff like this. It's so textured. It's super simple. Like you just have these two. Panned left and right. And these two. And then, but together, for some reason, it just sounds like a, just this nice... There we go. I was wondering why it was so quiet. So then I, I actually started playing with the guitar next, and I just had this, like, I, this was, like, such a nice little chord progression. I was so happy with it as soon as I came up with it. So I was playing just the vocals and the, and the ukulele, and then I just started playing this. How can I explain? Can you imagine it? Trying my best Trying to find happiness Ah, oh, so happy with that chord progression. It's so... It's like, it's got this melancholy to it. I think the second half is a little different. Like here. Yeah. So actually, this part of the chord progression never got heard by anybody, but it was originally like that. I think it's lovely, I don't know. Not to toot my own horn, but I think it's lovely. Um, I wanted to add a couple melody things on the guitar, so I just have these like little... on top of the yeah um, with the vocals so there's actually a certain lines where I have a, a harmony anywhere, it's in your which is this track Let me be there. which happens in the in the chorus as well shut me down shut me down before i break and tell the truth heavy with hoping but if i remember correctly i actually recorded harmonies for the entire or almost the oh no okay never mind i'm dumb i added for these though if i belong I didn't quite like those, so I took them out. Um, let me freeze those back on. Yeah, I was really happy with this cover uh, for a few reasons. I mean, I think the musician... Musici musicianship that I sort of like unlocked from making it or while making it, I think helped me gain a lot of confidence back because for a long time I'd been essentially saying to myself that I'm a much better producer than I am a musician. Um, I'm at a point in my life where I'm comfortable saying that I'm a, I'm a good producer. Like I know how to make a song sound good, but I'm not necessarily the most adept musician and writer and stuff like that. Um, but this is something that I can genuinely be proud of in terms of musicianship as well. Um, so that's one of the reasons that I think that I'm very happy with it. And then, Aside from like how it sounds and stuff like that, this song is a very personally significant one. The Heavy With Hoping, the original, is very personally significant uh, in my personal life due to events and stuff like that. And uh, it felt right. It felt nice to make it. It felt kind of like therapeutic and kind of like closure in a way. So that, that, was, that was nice. Uh, I followed then with this... So originally there was only just this like little piano that was doing this li cool little, it's like a weird Rhodes. I'm frozen, 
But I wasn't really happy with that on its own, so I added this little... This is... So, I'm really happy with this thing. So simple, but... And then I just kind of went ham. Did you say they're short? Uh, if, it, if I hadn't been more patient and put in more work, the cover would have ended after this. So it would have been about a minute and a half. But I was like, you know what? I'm, I want to do a piano outro. So I added like a whole minute on top of it. Um, but the reason that I, that a lot of my Charlie songs are like two minutes and under is just because most of them are made within one or two sessions and I never want to have to force out stuff for them. So like, I just kind of make it how I feel like it. And then once it's done, it's out. Like I just finished this other one, um, literally three days ago. Dude, I feel like it was yesterday. <laughs> anyway, three days ago, I seem to have finished this one and it's three minutes long, which is on the longer side for Charlie music, but like, I, I still made basically the entire thing in one session, like in one sitting. Um, and it just happened to turn out a little longer than usual. Oops, hold on. I've got guitar trapped under my chair. There we go. Guitar cable. But yeah. Let's see. The drums. So So the whole drum section, or at least this first little bit. Is very inspired off of my friend Foxwood. He had this. He has this song called Secrets. Or Secret? Yeah, Secret. And I really like this section in it. Or like, I like how everything sits in the mix. So I really like this song and I, and I wanted to do drums that were kind of similar, but obviously at this tempo. Yeah. And then there's kind of like the big chorus part, which is here where everything kind of drops down. So in this one, I actually kind of changed up the chord progression. So the first four bars hit the same. And then I went. Bum, bum. Um, and I mimicked that with a guitar as well. I did another one of these little. So that, that was nice. And then other than that, there's this little arp that comes in, this quiet little... But that's just kind of in the background. The drums get a lot bigger in this section as well. Like they go from... So I, I layered this big monster kick, just distorted mess, because it gave it gives a nice texture. I'm really happy with this clap as well. It works super well. Um, so that's kind of like for the chorus. Then there's the drop. I would call this the drop, and that's when. So in the original. In the original, there's this arp that comes in a, a, after the chorus, and I really like that part of the song, like when the... the where is it?
section I fucking love. I think it sounds amazing. So I wanted to do something with that ARP, so I, I made the little... And then the second half, it gets bigger. Like a little, just a, I think it's a third. Wait. Yeah, made like a major third. And, um... Yeah, I also, so I changed it. This is interesting. There's like a polyrhythm going on. So this song is in 6 8, which is like tick, 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 as opposed to 4 4, for instance, which is tick, 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 or 3 4, which is tick, 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 tick. And so I have the bass going on at the 6 8 rhythm. But I have the drum, the kick, going at a 4-4, four, four, like on a 4-4 four, four similar tempo rhythm. So it goes like a kind of a polyrhythm now. You know, and then if you add the ARP and stuff to that. I thought that was interesting. Yeah, yeah. So the the sorry, yeah, the sub is doing the regular six eight rhythm and then the kick is doing essentially the four four on the floor drum rhythm that fits with the clap, like on the boom. Like that. What's the pluck made of? So one layer here is just an an electric piano that has a really short uh, time. It's just a basic electric piano. And the other layer, I think, is just a sign. Sign pluck. Yep. Sign pluck and that's it. It's super simple. The thing that adds a lot in this section is these pads that come in. And all that coupled with, I have this just me whining into a microphone, essentially. Throughout the entire chorus. It's just me whining into a mic. Pad 2D is the sauce, yeah. Pad 2D is the sauce. It is now called Pad 2020, I think, or 2020 Pad 2. I re I went and reorganized all my pads recently. So, yeah, 20 pa 2020 Pad D. This is Pad 2D. They are the same sample. And it is the sauce, dude. It's so... I This is a pad that I made a while back, and it's just... When layered, like, you have the original one... Layered with a version that's pitched up an octave. And that together is just... Gold. Gold. Um, did I use vocals? Yeah, I, I recorded my own... Vocal cover of this song by Madion. Uh, so yeah, so that kind of builds up into the... Into the, like in the drop, right? <laughs> Uh, and here, this is interesting, most people probably didn't notice, but so, in the chorus, or yeah, in the chorus of this song, there's obviously that weird chromatic third chord here, so it goes like, Heavy with hoping that you knew it, that you feel the way I do. So that feel. feel the uh, and that's not technically like in the key, it is, but like it fits like that. So for this section that comes after the big drop, I did the chorus, but like in a, 
uh, that diatonic, like yeah, diatonically essentially. So heavy with hoping that you know it, that you feel the way. So that's that's the like technically the correct. It's not. There's nothing right or wrong, but like it's it's the diatonic sort of basic way that that note should hit. But Madion has it hit the one one semitone higher to give it that sort of blues feel. Um, but po most people probably didn't notice, but I just kind of had, I, I don't know, I, I felt like the diatonic version of the, of the chorus felt be like better here. Because it, because it's not, it's not doing the blues scale thing anymore. It essentially feels more like calming. There's not as much tension in terms of music theory there. And so I feel like that fit better for that end. And then for those of you who wonder how I always, like how I do my piano outros on all of my Charlie music, this is what, the, this is what an average clip looks like. So you can, you can look at the... And I have this coming in. Yeah, diatonic means like really basic sort of, you know, C major, D major, D minor. It's like sort of the basic, very, um, it's what most music is written in. Most music is written in, in a diatonic scale, which is, yeah. Like if you're writing in C major, it's all white notes. Whereas what Madion did was, if this song was in C major, he hit one black note for that specific, uh, for the for that specific uh, lyric. And when I wanted to do the final um, run of that vocal, I thought, well, because I don't want as much tension or like uh, imbalance, I guess, which fits in the chorus, I wanted to be more chilled out at the end. I kept it diatonic. I'm not a music theory expert by any by any means. Um, I have a good ear, which is lucky. Like I have a good ear for notes and music theory, which is lucky, but I don't know what the hell the names of anything is. The only reason I know what I know is because I've been doing music for fucking eight years, and this is all that I've learned in those eight years about music theory. Um, but yeah, and then also throughout the outro, there's this... Uh, Oh God, I did the worst thing, the thing I always tell people not to do. Yeah, I mean, that's a way to put it. Um, the, like the original was a spicy version. And then what I, what I, what I sang here at the end was the vanilla version. That's basically it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, as for this, no, I didn't play it in. I think I, I played like the very basic idea for it. And then I added a bunch of stuff in MIDI. Um, which is usually how it goes. It, it, that's usually how it goes. Yeah. Cause I'm not a, I'm not a pianist by any means. I'm not a pianist. Like I'm not a music theory expert. Like I'm not a guitarist. I know a little bit about everything, but I'm not good at any of them. So yeah. Yes. I automated mixer volume. This is what I was just appalled at. Look at that. Automate. Oh, you can't see it. Hold on. There you go. Look at that automated mixer volume. Isn't that just disgusting? Isn't that, isn't that disgusting right there? Here's, if you're in Ableton, I don't fucking care what other, if you're in other DAWs, if you're in Ableton, never automate mixer volume. You always want to automate volume through a utility. I don't know why I did, I didn't do this this time. Apparently I was too cool for that. Um, I feel sick. Yeah, me too, man. What the hell? It's so fucked up. So fucked up. But yeah, this kind of just goes down in volume throughout the entire outro. I like this outro a lot because I used the I used pads that I used to use back when back in like the first Charlie album in, in Just Me. I would use these pads all the time. It's like anybody who has listened to Just Me enough times will recognize this kind of sound. 
Um, yeah. Okay, I'll explain to you guys. Let me tell you guys why you don't want to automate mixer volume. And you, 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 you usually also don't want to automate these, like the mixer in and out, or sorry, mixer on, off. Because, so this is because, say I've finished this whole song and I'm happy with the way that it sounds and all the automations and all my mixer, my mixer volumes are all automated and shit like that. And then I get to the mastering stage and I'm like, shit, this is too quiet or shit, this is too loud and I have to turn up the entire project. Or even on a smaller scale, if I make, you know, a handful of instruments and I put them in a group and I'm like, shit, I need to turn these down before they go into the group. Um, and I try to grab everything and turn it down. What happens is this automation breaks. And, and if, if you have shit on all of them, all the automation's going to break. And that's why you don't automate using these, because these, these are essentially think of them as, you know, mixer, like mixer faders. You don't want to automate them because if you do, then on a real mixer, for instance, if you have a, an electronic mixer, mixing board like console, and you automate the fader, if you try to move that fader, it's going to always go back to the automated position. Uh, this is kind of the reverse in that if you think of this as, a, as an electronic mixer, you, and you try, to, you, know, you try to change the value of an automated parameter, what it's going to do is just, it's going to stop automating. All of it's going to just go like, hey, uh, you moved something, so I'm going to stop automating. Um, so if you want to do volume automation on anything, and this is what I do in all of my music for the past five years, is you use utility. Utility is like such an underrated and powerful tool because you can do everything with everything that's, this is basically a channel strip. Utility is basically a channel strip without an EQ. It's all the controls you have over here, minus the sends and returns. It's all of those controls, but over here. Plus, you can do some phase stuff if you want to try some stuff out. And Yeah. Anyway, uh, I saw someone ask about how I make pads. It really depends, but I'll show you a, an interesting one that I did recently. Um... Oh yeah, dude, exactly. Same for me. Anytime I make a new audio track, Utility's there. Anytime I make a new MIDI track, Utility and Pitch are on there. So, yeah. Actually, speaking of templates, I need to add the chord plugin to my kick track. I don't know. If you're interested in my Ableton template and why it is how it is, you should subscribe to my Patreon because I did a video explaining everything with it. And let me save this on my Ableton template. Cool. Um, let me show you how I made a pad recently. This is one of the techniques you can use. Where is it? There it is. Loop texture. Yes, yes. Cool. Um, so these, as you can see, are just a bunch of samples by not me. Um, let me turn all the processing off. I won't turn that one off. Okay. So what I did is I brought in a bunch of different samples from some of them are me. Some of them aren't like these bottom five, six, these bottom, how, how to count. Yeah. Six. That freeze track is throwing me off. These bottom six are my own samples and these top six, seven, three. Yeah. Seven. These top seven aren't. Um, which doesn't really matter because they're completely unrecognizable in the end. Essentially what I did is I brought them all in and I made, I, I turned off the warp on all of them so that they would stay at their regular length. There was some, the tut little, the mini tutorials are in the $12 tier. 
I think you can check on my Patreon. It says it if we go to patreon.com slash doomu. I think it's in the $12 tier, but it might be in the five. Oh no, it's in the five. Five, you get the mini tutorials and tips. So it's in there. Consider subscribing to my Patreon if you want to get some uh, some insight. By the way, if you're a $12 and above patron next Saturday, or well, Friday for the rest of the world, but next Friday I'm doing a breakdown of Wash Away and my last time remix. So if you're interested in seeing that, hit this button right here, baby. Anyway. So yeah, I'm just essentially looping these at their original length when repitched. So I brought them in, turned off warp, repitched them so they would be in key, and then looped and then looped them. So you have like various ones. So you have the this stuff like this. Stuff like this. Which is really bad. Stuff like this. Stuff like this. Just running you through all of them. The various little samples that I have lying around. These are all mine. You know, and they're panned around and... and processed and shit. And when you put all of that together with all the processing that I did... Now I get to go through and re-enable all, all of it. Uh, you essentially get this, like, because they're all in the same key, it works, but this it's just this big blur of sound. And that's not bad on its own, but then I did a little bit more processing, so I have an OTT. Followed by this amazing thing called a non-linear reverb. Followed by Air Spectral, which is also a cool plugin. Followed by an EQ, sound shifter pitch, bringing it down like, yeah, three semitones and then a limiter. Essentially, I have that, which I rendered down. Hold the phone. So I did that. You can do this with any number of things, right? Like, essentially, you just... The way that I usually make pads is I'll, and I'll bring in a bunch of different elements that are all in the same key. Sometimes they're my samples. Sometimes they're other people's samples. Sometimes it's a mix of both. Sometimes it's stuff that I write exclusively for the pad. Like, I'll pull out my guitar and noodle away, and it'll be just for the pad. Um, yeah, and then you... you process them all together so that they're one big cohesive sound. And then what I did is, yeah, I, I rendered it down and reversed, say I rendered it down like this. And because of the delay and stuff at the end, there's this cool little. This section, which is like nice and calm. So then I reversed that and put it into um, Paul Stretch made it 20 minutes long. And now if I... And I can use any part of this in any part of any song and it'll usually sound good. Especially if you kind of like, if you have to pitch it down like three or four, five, you have it like this, you know, duplicate it over. Pitch it up an octave. Make the octave layer a little less loud. Turn them both down. You know? You can get this really nice texture out of it. So this is in B. I have this... What is it? Say I was making an ambient song and I just choose this guitar melody. Oh, 
Oh, for fuck's sake. This is a B minor. Hold on. That's not right. You've got this nice pad to go underneath it. You know? Put a bit of reverb on that. Yeah, I'll make a more in-depth tutorial on how I make my pads. I'm going to do that on my Patreon. So once again, you should consider supporting me on Patreon. If you can, please, uh, in, in these wacky old times that we're living in, put your own finances first. It's very important that you do that. Um, but yeah, let's go take a listen to what we did at the start of the stream. And then I'll probably end the stream there because it's been two hours. Uh, and I and I'm just kind of rambling on at this point, giving free information to the people like the good, the good man I am. So this is what we did at the beginning of the stream. Fuck it, we'll put my Owl City acapella on top of it as well. That's what we did earlier at the start of the stream. Um, I think I'm done for, for today. Uh, do I have anything to announce? Let me pull up my calendar real quick. Do I have anything to announce? Yeah, I'll, well, so next week is Speed Beats. Uh, Saturday at 10 p.m. Eastern Time, as always, which is Sunday, 11 a.m. Singaporean Time. So that'll be speed beats. It might be the it will be the first speed beats since the YouTube like the the YouTube only. It'll be the first speed beats live to have webcam cuz I'm cuz I've got my webcam now. So that's going to be fun. Um Anything else to announce? I don't think so. I mean, next week I'm doing this online festival. You can probably find out about it on my Instagram uh in my Instagram story and stuff like that. That's going to be interesting. It's going to be fun. Um, <clears throat> I know I haven't released original music since the end of January. I'm very, very aware of it. I actually have a lot of music that's just kind of sitting right now, but we finally started the release process for one of the songs. So hopefully you should see it within the next couple of months, and I should be able to announce it sometime soon-ish. Um, aside from that, I also want to give a shout-out as I always do, to my 12 and 
$20 patrons. I'm opening the page right now to make sure that I don't forget anybody. Um, whoops, what the hell? Okay, weird. I also would like to announce before any of that that I have put up all of my Charlie music on Bandcamp. Or the released the released one. Um, I've put it up on Bandcamp. So you can get it on Bandcamp now if you want. I think it's a little cheaper on Bandcamp than it is in other places as well. I think 6 Degrees is literally 6 Euro. So, you know, if you want to support me at this point in time, Bandcamp's another... If you want to support me but you don't want to pledge a certain amount of money to Patreon, Bandcamp's a good way to do it. Um, yeah. What am I doing the feedback stream? That's a very good question. I keep, like, I know that I need to do it. I just keep forgetting to do it. I'll probably do it sometime in the middle of next week. How, maybe Wednesday. If I do it Wednesday, um, I'll, yeah, I'll set that up. You know what, Wednesday, Wednesday night. I'll, I'll make a tweet and I have an Instagram story where with an email or something like that that you can send the tracks to. Maybe even just in my Discord server, I'll make a, a demos channel or something like that. I'll figure it out. I'll probably announce that tomorrow or Monday. Um, yeah, Wednesday, Wednesday night, US time, which is going to be Thursday morning for me. Let me put that in my calendar right now. Let's say, yeah, 11 a.m. 11 a.m. my time, which is 11 p.m. EST, 8 p.m. PST. Feedback stream. I'll make an announcement on social media. Thanks for reminding me. We'll do that Wednesday. Wednesday night. Feedback stream. Um, new music soon. Breakdown stream uh, for my Patreon patrons on Friday. Wash Away and the Last Time Remix. And uh, yeah, let me give a quick shout out to the $12 and $25 patrons. So Color Parade and Healy, my $25 patrons, you guys rock. Thank you so much for your support. Uh, Cape and Monocle, KC, Lucid Gate, Justin Jacob, Julian, David Prochaska, Jack Whitfield, Olod, Pete Judd, um, Josiah Ellsworth, and Things by Hudson. Thank you for supporting me on Patreon for $12 every month. That's a lot of money, I'm aware. And it means a lot to me that you are willing to surrender that to me. Um... In any case, I hope you guys enjoyed the stream. I had a good time. It had been a couple of days since I streamed. I'm, I intend on streaming more often now that I'm off school. Um, like all my all my deadlines and shit are over, and I'm basically just basically just stuck here right now, especially for the next four or so weeks because the lockdown in Singapore isn't uh, letting up until the start of June. So the entire month of May, I'm just going to be in my house because I can't really go anywhere else. Like, I'm allowed to go out for a little bit every day, but most of the time I'm going to be in my house. Um, in any case, yeah. Thank you for coming to the stream, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you it was insightful in some way, and it entertaining maybe as well. In any case, I appreciate your support. Uh, it means a lot to me. And I'm excited to finally get some more music out to you guys soon. With that, stay inside, social distance, don't be a fucking idiot, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next stream, which is probably going to be on Wednesday for the feedback stream. See you guys.